WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny and pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently we have U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. Dow futures are off 240 points. That's about 7 tenths of a percent. The NASDAQ is off 70 points, about 6 tenths. The S&P, 8 tenths, around 32 points. The E-mini, uh, Russell's off uh, 15 points, about 7 tenths there. Spot volatilities is trading above its 50-day exponents moving average. That is always troublesome out there. Uh, gold's off 5 bucks. Silver's down 33 cents. Light sweet crude is up four bucks, trading out at one nineteen fourteen. Natural gas down twenty cents, trading out at eight fifty two in the thirty year Treasury. She's trading out at uh, one thirty eight thirty. That is down two full points as we speak right now. That is the September contract. So, if you take a look at Friday's action out here. Bullish as can be as price took out prior swing points. These are the daily time frames for the Dow. Each of these have confirmed buy patterns out here. That means confirmed Gartley buy patterns or buy the D point patterns. There's a wave seven pattern inside the Russell out there. Um, so everything's got bottoms and price has taken out prior swing points out there. So everything looks mighty bullish. However, the fly in the financial ointment is going to be that spot volatility. So if we go take a look at it, the spot volatility right now is uh, trading um, up just slightly above its 50-day exponents moving average. That's at 27.47. 27.95 is the print. If the Spot volatility closes above that 50-day expense moving average today. And then again tomorrow, you need two consecutive days. But if it just closes above it today, that's going to suggest lower price. And we'd go take a look at areas of support out here. Well, those areas of support, we gave those to you really during the uh, Trader Z show that we just uh, came off of. And that was really coming from the two-hour time frame charts. Each of them have TD9 count bottoms. So, folks, if price closes below those lows, 41, 21, 50 in the ES, that's going to suggest a move to 40, 51. One. The NQ, a close below 12,615, is going to suggest move to 12,244. And the Dow, a close below 32,894, 32,564 becomes the number. And the Russell 2000's target would be 1835.70. That's if there's a close below 1869. Now, if we go back real quickly here, we really the market should we the market should pull back. And if they don't pull back, boy, that tells you about strong moves out there. What do you mean they should pull back, Stevie? If you take a look at this advanced decline oscillator reading for the New York Stock Exchange up at 337.56 as of Friday's close. Folks, that is really overbought. But markets can get even further overbought. Stay tuned for Tommy O'Brien. I'll see